Hey, toy fans, Masters of the Universe fans, welcome back to Hermione's Toy Box. I'm sure by the looks of this mini to come, you can tell what we're going to be looking at today because we got in the mail our San Diego exclusive ish sort of Maddie, uh, sorry, not Maddie, Mattel Collector cartoon collection, uh, too bad exclusive. Uh, this, this is the, um, the big exclusive for the year and uh at least for the summer and um it's, it's pretty cool uh, a lot of people were kind of worried that this was going to be our only too bad um needlessly uh clearly they're going to do the vintage style they confirmed that they are doing vintage origins uh style too bad he's already sculpted they just haven't shown him yet um but yeah he's he's here he's here uh, they're here, I guess, Tuvar and Badra themselves, um, in this fantastic deluxe packaging. Um, Mattel always does an amazing job with their packaging. There you have, oh, there they are, uh, Tuvar and Badra, and it is magnetic. It's very satisfying. I don't know if that's coming through uh, for you, but it's just a nice little click, and there they go. Um... Pretty cool to get them. I love the origin, uh, that the, the idea that they came from two separate bony hunters and Skeletor just yeah. cursed them to work together. Some of the 2000X style um, origins for these characters, uh, not to confuse you with Origins the Line, but some of the, the back backstories for the characters were fantastic. Um, weird that they, they went with the cartoon collection uh, with the filmation look for this. If Cartoon Collection ever wants to veer off into the territory of the excellent Mike Young productions, uh, Mike Young being an excellent, awesome guy himself, uh, that would be great. I would love to see more 2000X style characters. Um, bring in the other cartoons, all the other cartoons. We know we are getting She-Ra Princess of Power in the Filmation style with the Cartoon Collection. Uh, She-Ra, Hordak, Mantena, several others were uh, Catra with her cat form, although it's a little tiny. But I, I always wanted her to get her panther form, uh, panther form, um, in the line in some form or fashion. Uh, I hope that doesn't necessarily mean we couldn't get an articulated, a la Cringer here, style of Catra in her panther form. But anyway, great stuff coming. Um, but yeah, why not? DreamWorks Shira, why, fantastic series. If you don't think so, try it again, uh, because you're wrong. Um, try it out like like use some of this heck get us revolution revelation style characters in cartoon collection go for all of it um but here you go you have this set with tuvar and badra uh cartoon collection again kind of an odd choice to go with this backstory for filmation um kind of doubt that we'll get the ability to switch them around like that for for the vintage style origins but I'm okay with it. Uh, the fact that we are able to do it at all. I got my order in pretty easily, pretty quickly. I had thought briefly about doing two of these just so I could display, you know, both. But, you know, I, I, I think that's just being greedy and hopefully me not getting two means it's someone else because I know a lot of people did miss out and apparently they sold out. So I hope that means maybe Mattel will go back to the presses on this because people should be able to get them in their collection. I just don't like the idea that people aren't able to get something if they don't uh, just missed out for some reason. You know, it's, it's one thing if you sleep through an alarm or something, but if you just got kind of screwed around on it. Anyway, I'm going to open these up and we're going to take a look at them and I'll be back. All right, we are back. They are... Uh they're out they're out and they don't come with any accessories um you know Tuvar's side was packed with the torso with which to make them into um you know too bad uh, it does separate just like you know standard uh snapping apart abilities the only thing is their respective legs uh, i'm assuming actually all of their legs will be able to swap um which again you know this this will differ from the vintage style because they'll have the legs that they have to make up this combined version, you know, their respective arms for their, their sides. Um, 
on the vintage toy, you had some purple bleed over onto Tuvar's side before he was ever Tuvar, when it was just this this uh, beast of two heads, you know. So uh, Tuvar, the merciless mercenary over here, the blue man, uh, Badra, the reckless raider, uh, both pretty cool looking on their own. I mean, they're kind of derpy, but it's filmation, and they're generally kind of derpy, you know. I mean, they're a little bit, you know, I mean, just take a look at our friend Web Store, and, you know, great figure, love this figure, but compared to his actual origin style, which I happen to have, I think, a, you know, it's, he's not nearly as menacing, he's still scary looking, you know, these two are probably more derpy, uh, but, you know, it's, it's different, you know, and that's okay, you know, Hermione and I have just kind of decided that for the sake of, uh, origins and cartoon classics, we, we, uh, cartoon collection, sorry, not classics, we decided it's just, it's an alternate, uh, universe. It's, it's the masters of the multiverse, right? So there you go. You can have your, your vintage, uh, and your origin style too. Speaking of cartoon collection, by the way, I do have to, uh, shout out because I know, I think everyone agrees, the Filmation Evil Inn, great looking figure, should have had this cape, right? So hit up the Cape Master, all right? He's a busy, busy guy. I know he got so busy, he had to train an apprentice. Um, and I just slipped this cape up under the rubber of this. It sits a little higher than I would like because it sits really flush on her, but man, his capes are fantastic. Uh, they're really good. If you are a superpowers collector, um, hit him up, all right? eBay, Instagram, uh, at the Cape Master. Um, tell him Hermione's Toy Box sent you. It won't do you any good, but it'll be nice. Um, so let's take a look at these guys. No accessories. Probably want to find something to give them, you know. The, well, I'm sure we can find, we have extra accessories around. So there might be something we could give them. But they did come, again, with the torso. But also the mirror of Avaloth, Avalar, Avalon, Avalon, Avon. The mirror of, I can't remember. But it is from a Filmation-centric episode. Uh, filmation centric. A filmation episode. It's a lenticular. Where are my ASR, ASMR people? There you go. Um, but really cool. I mean, you know, no details. Well, actually, I like. There's details on the back, too. It's pretty cool. Um, I love that they're doing this stuff. And the fact that we got a nice big one. <laughs> it's like the Wizard of Oz. Um, a nice big one with this this particular set is fantastic. So, love that they're doing these things. But let's talk about these Jamokes right now. So we're gonna move the packaging out of the way. I do save the packaging, um, and we're gonna build these guys real quick because why not? That's the whole point, right? So we're gonna take our torso. We're gonna pop these suckers' heads off, and yeah, you could have all kinds of fun. I do love the just the rich colors involved here. Um, heads pop off nicely. Much less trouble than I had on the Fraggles. Uh, he does have a little schmutz there. We can get that off pretty easily. Um, we're just going to build him up the way he's meant to be. And I have seen some people posting pictures. And they, come on, get in there. They have been giving them the... Uh, come on. The Masterverse too bad, which we don't have. Um... They've been giving them those. This is the moment of truth. Let's see how these legs pop off. Oh, yeah, that's very different. You know, I wouldn't hate Mattel if they decided to just do that from now on with the legs. Because um, it's on there pretty well. I mean, I don't I don't feel any different. And now it's just, you know, we've got a little more play out of it. Anyway, I've seen people giving them the Masterverse accessories or even, I feel like I think I've seen, I feel like I think, that I've seen people giving them. Man, the arms do want to have a harder time going in. <laughs> Don't break another toy. If you watched the Fraggle Rock video from earlier, um, I did have a little problem with Uncle Traveling Matt's backpack, but it's okay. Um, all right, there we go. There we go. Um, now you have too bad. Um, yeah, you could also give them the 2000X weapons. Uh, you know, you could always hit somebody up on eBay if you wanted to find some extra weapons for them or something. Or, you know, trade. Trade with your friends. Now, we could get them posed in kind of the vintage style. Guys, I gotta tell you, I am pretty sure that the vintage style one is still gonna have arms that don't go up like this. I don't think it's necessarily gonna be punching in the face action. Um, 
but I think it's going to be similar. So articulation is pretty basic and standard. Uh, we're just going to keep him like that. Um, he's he's a great little uh, Origins figure here. I'm glad we got him. He's a fun addition to the line. I wasn't sure I was going to do cartoon collection, but it's been a blast. And you know, the hits keep coming with cartoon collection because now we've got, I mean, they got their first whip. Did we think this was coming? Did we think we were ever getting the collector? No, I haven't put anyone in it yet. Maybe we'll let, we could let them pile it one by one or together. Who do you, how do you know? I love the articulation on this, by the way. Um, but there you go. Cartoon collection is doing well. There, nice. Um, not really doing a full video on this thing, but um, I'm happy we got this set. I'm happy we got too bad for cartoon collection. I'm happy that even though it's kind of a weird way to get it, that we got two Varn Badger as well. Uh, would not have, you know, been upset if it was actually a 2000X style, but you don't win them all. Uh, people have liked this mini comic. It does a pretty cool thing in the middle of having a splash page because two Vars, side of the story. There's your Pixel Dan nod to Prince Pixler. Um, but the stories link up in the middle. Uh, read it on your own. I'm sure that's not difficult to find it. Uh, I'm not going to read it to you. I'm not going to pause it for you. But there it is. Uh, the art's great. I like the art. I like the art on this one maybe more than I've liked the art on some of them lately. The writing in this one does seem to be a little bit better, a little more fleshed out. I just feel like, honestly, uh, Josh doesn't always get the page count. And sometimes the layout is a little wonky and it doesn't work in his favor. Um, but they're fun. I love that we're getting them. They're maybe not always the best for me, but I do love that we're getting them. And I hope they continue and I look forward to more. Uh, plenty more Origins coming our way. We've got, we've got turtles to look at soon. Turtles to look at soon, including... Very excited, but I am kind of waiting for Cousin Freddy because I know he really loves this line. Cousin Freddy wants to take a look at these with me. Um, Splinter Skull, very cool looking. Uh, lots of great stuff. So stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't. Jeez, what the heck's the matter with you at this point? And good journey, everybody. You take care. And what do you like? Did, did you get this set? Let me know in the comments. Did you manage to get it? Are you missed out? Are, am I irritating you just for the sheer sake of bringing them up at all? Or, uh, you know, was it just too bad for you? I'm so sorry. Good journey.